back to another episode of Cooking with Milan. In today's episode of Cooking with Milan, I'll be cooking a shrimp, crab, potato, and corn crab oil with a garlic butter sauce. As you can see in this pot here and this pan back here, I have my crab oil boiling and my garlic butter sauce being made. So if you want to see how I make this delicious crab oil at home, stay tuned and watch this video. But before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. The first thing you need for a seafood boil is some water to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and fill up this big pot with some water. After you fill your pot with some water, you're gonna go ahead and put it on top of your fire or on top of whatever burner you have so that it can start boiling. To get the boil started, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Zatarin's crab oil. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and stir this crab oil in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash some garlic and add them to the boil. Here's my garlic. Next I'll be cutting some lemon and an orange. I'll be squeezing some lemon juice and some orange juice into our boil. I'm also going to be adding this liquid crab oil that I made. I made the liquid crab oil using some beer, Mrs. Dash extra spice seasoning, Trader Joe's red chili pepper, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning, Mrs. Dash onion and herb seasoning, Old Bay hot seasoning, and Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and mix together everything we have boiling right now so far, which is our lemon, orange, garlic, Zatarin's crab oil, and then my homemade liquid crab oil seasoning. The next thing I'll be adding to the boil are some potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash those. I just added potatoes to the boil. So now in our boil, we have potatoes garlic, lemon, orange, Zatarin's crab oil seasoning, and then my homemade crab oil seasoning. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up a bit. The potatoes have been boiling for about 30 minutes. So next I'm gonna be adding some corn to the boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash this corn. You can see that our boil is bubbling up. Now I'm just gonna go in and add our corn. Mixing it all together. Now we have our corn, potatoes, garlic, lemon, orange, Zatarin's crab boil, and then my homemade crab oil seasoning in our pot boil. I'm gonna let this boil for about 30 minutes more. And then next I'll be adding our seafood in. So 
the corn and potatoes have been boiling for about 45 minutes so now i'm gonna go ahead and wash some shrimp and then add it to the boil The shrimp cooks pretty quickly. I think it's time for the main event where we go ahead and wash our crab and then add it to the boil. Now I'm adding the crab to the crab oil. While our crab boil was boiling back there, I went ahead and made a garlic butter sauce here that I'm going to pour on top of the crab and shrimp and potatoes and corn and garlic once it's done boiling. So this is the garlic butter sauce that I went ahead and made. The ingredients I use for the garlic butter sauce are beer, heavy whipping cream, garlic that I minced up, butter, Mrs. Dash garlic and herb seasoning, Mrs. Dash lemon pepper seasoning, and Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning. So yeah, we just have this back here cooking up. Once the crab boil is done, we're gonna put this into a container and then pour this on top of the crab boil. Our shrimp and crab boil is done boiling, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the food from this pot and put it into a pan. I'm gonna pour the garlic butter sauce on top of the seafood. Here's our seafood boil. With the garlic butter sauce on top. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a like if you did. If you like the recipe, let me know down below in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.